Hi, welcome back to the channel. Today's video I want to talk about mushrooms and the carnivore diet. It's an appropriate topic because it's mushroom season at the moment, it's the change of seasons, things are getting a bit colder. We had a big windstorm a couple of nights ago, um, we've had a little bit of wind damage, the water pump's not working because the electrical cables came down in the garage. Uh, yeah, it's just that time of year, uh, you've got to get the firewood in and start, start preparing for the winter. So, so yeah, it's appropriate that we should be talking about mushrooms today. I, I've been out in the garden and I found um, turkey tail mushroom and we think it's chicken of the woods, two different types of mushroom that are just growing wild in, in the garden, which is really cool. In fact, I'll get the turkey tail. Yeah, so we harvested the, these, this is, this is uh, harvested from the garden, really cool. We know it's turkey tail because it's nice and white underneath it. Um, turkey tail is a very special mushroom. As I'll get into. So what do you think about mushrooms? It seems to be a really hot topic in carnivore forums online. Uh, the thing about them is that they have their own particular kingdom, the fungi kingdom, as I'm sure you already know. So if you're following a carnivore diet, which is an elimination diet on the one hand, but also a animal product diet on the other hand, you're eliminating plant matter and eating only animal products. What do you do when you have something that is neither a plant nor an animal? It's certainly true that mushrooms are low in carbohydrates and they do have nutritional benefits. And if you haven't seen the Netflix documentary Fantastic Fungi yet, you really should. And then you'll know just how incredible they are. I happen to totally love and admire mushrooms. And it's something that I would like to include in my diet and I don't actually see a real reason not to. That's why I wanted to do the video today. Mushrooms, fungi, appeared on the planet like millions of years ago. They're actually closer in time to the animal kingdom than the plant kingdom. Their, their way of reproducing is vaguely reminiscent of, of, of animals. They're even a little bit alien and I think I've heard a theory somewhere that they did come from outer space. <laughs> I love that theory, that was my favourite theory. And also somebody told me once who had had a mushroom, a powerful mushroom trip, that the mushrooms had come to them during the trip and told them that they came to the earth to help humans. I love that. I'm ready to believe that. So is it possible that mushrooms are here as teachers and allies for us? The thing about mushrooms is that if they weren't here, you probably already know this, all the plant matter, the waste plant matter, would just pile up and it would be ridiculous. <laughs> but here they are doing loads of work to keep our planet habitable. Some types of mushrooms like shiitake and lion's mane have been shown to have potential health benefits in terms of boosting the immune system and improving brain function. They're already used medicinally. Penicillin is a fungus, for example. A few years ago, I came across the idea that lion's mane mushroom can help the brain to remyelinate. So I have MS and the what happens in MS is that you have something in the brain called demyelination, which is when the immune system attacks the myelin sheathing around the nerve fibres in the brain. And then turkey tail, there's been research that shows that it can help fight cancer. And then before organised religion existed, many cultures, ancient cultures all over the world, used psilocybin mushrooms to enhance and develop their, their spirituality. That's still a very common practice today, using psilocybin mushrooms, magic mushrooms as a tool for spirituality, for a powerful, profound, life-changing experiences to open your mind up to, to new possibilities. And people microdose magic mushrooms, psilocybin, a lot and, and say that it's really good for their mental health. Not all mushrooms are the same, obviously there's a wide variety of mushrooms, you can't just go around eating any of them, we all know this. You have to be very careful to identify a mushroom before you eat it. Well that means that maybe we can't just lump them all together and say no, yes or no, in terms of the carnivore diet. Also, it's going to depend on why you're doing the carnivore diet. So anything that can't run away to prevent themselves from being eaten may have toxins. That's why, that's why a lot of people say plants are not actually healthy for humans because they contain um, certain properties that are meant to be defensive um, and that's why they're harmful. So some mushrooms also have that, it's because they're stationary, they can't run away, they've got to have some form of defence. But again, not all mushrooms are going to have those. Some are slightly higher in, in carbohydrates, portobello and button mushrooms. 
so therefore they might not be suitable for a, for a strict carnivore diet. Also, all, it depends on your own body and some people may be sensitive to, to mushrooms and have digestive issues or other symptoms from them. So it depends on you, it depends on the mushroom. They have a small amount of fibre, which may be beneficial. I know that there's a lot of arguments around whether, what, whether fibre really is necessary for humans, um, but a, 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 a small amount of fibre may be helpful. I've even come across some research which says, says that they've got antiseptic properties and can absorb toxins and disinfect the bowels. I personally think that we can easily make a case for permitting the use of mushrooms for medicinal purposes and perhaps even as a seasoning. Um, I just think that in moderation because otherwise start, they start to become the bulk of, of, of the food and on the, on the carnivore diet you want to get all those incredible benefits from the meat itself. So I think probably it's something to avoid in the initial months of starting the diet just to get a baseline and then maybe it's something that could be added back in as a seasoning or as medicine as appropriate according to your needs. We actually like mushrooms so much and have become so interested in mushrooms that we have started a mushroom cultivation business. I'll put information about that in the description. We're actually um, going to start selling mushroom cultivation kits on Etsy. It's a whole world of, of fascinating things. In fact, this is just an intro video. It's going to be an ongoing topic, so I'll be really excited to show you the different stages of mushroom growth as we get the business up and running. In the meantime, I just wanted to raise the question of mushrooms. It's, it's a whole different kingdom. It's neither plant nor animal, and that's crazy. <laughs> so do we embrace them, or do we... I think that they go really well with the carnivore diet personally, but I would be open to other people's suggestions and, um, and advice. Okie doke, see you next week. Bye.